Welcome to the new term and the new year at Beads Prep. It's been absolutely wonderful to welcome the children back over the last few days. And I have to say that it's really highlighted what a special community this is and what a special school this is. The children have adapted so well to the new normal. Uh, they've shown great kindness to each other and they've adapted to their new routines really, really well. Now the purpose of the meetings this evening is to give you the opportunity to connect with your form tutors and know who that go-to person is if you want to contact the school. Normally, of course, we would have loved to have welcomed you in person, but in these circumstances, hopefully the remote meetings will give you that opportunity. Before moving on to those meetings, I just wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about some of the key areas of the school provision over the next few weeks and months. Now, there was no doubt that during lockdown, Beads was at the forefront of excellence in transitioning over to remote learning. And I think everybody in our community should be proud of what was achieved during the lockdown period. Our commitment going forward is to make sure that we deliver that continuity of education and continuity of learning. And it's absolutely wonderful to have the children back in the classroom. But there are still those who are learning from home. And at the moment, we've been working very hard on developing a blended learning approach. So that as we move forward during these slightly uncertain times, wherever the children are, whether they're at home or at school, Beads will continue to deliver an excellent learning experience for your children. Now, the Performing Arts Department and Creative Arts Department are particularly excited about being back to school. The teachers have planned a range of exciting opportunities, and as I'm sure as you know already, the breadth of opportunity at Beads Prep for the creative and performing arts is outstanding. Despite the difficulties with social distancing and the challenges ahead of us, we will continue to deliver opportunities for children to explore, to create and to perform. And I look forward to sharing with you creative ways in the future in which you will be able to enjoy and engage with all of the brilliant creative work that is going to be going on over the coming weeks and months. Now, as a parent, I know how difficult it's been over recent months with children not being able to engage fully in all the team sports that they love so much. But here at Beads Prep, we are committed to making sure that we get as many of our team sports going as safely as possible, whether that's up at the Hollow, here on the Astro, in our sports hall, down at the Saffrons, or up at the Senior School. And I know that the sports department are being very creative in making sure that all of the children get as much movement, as much physical activity, and as much sport as possible to help keep them healthy as we go forward this term. Now, ensuring that children are safe and happy is our number one priority at Beads. Their well-being is at the top of the list. And as we move forward, our commitment to ensuring your children's welfare remains right at the top. Need I say any more? Now, of course, under normal circumstances, there will be lots of opportunities to meet face to face. But under the current restrictions, it's very difficult for us to do that. But parental engagement is so important to me and to the school. Over the coming weeks and months, there will be opportunities for you to take part in parent surveys, which I really encourage you to fill in and take part in. There will also be an opportunity to speak with members of the school community through parent forums. And hopefully we will be able to connect and move forward together as we enable the school to progress through the current situation. So now please follow the link that was sent out to you in the letter and you will be able to connect directly with your form tutor. I hope you enjoy the evening.